Okay, welcome back. I'm Dylan. And I'm Chaz. And we have another Q&A video for you. That's right, and today it is all about Alpha One. You guys have called, messaged, and posted a ton of questions about our Alpha One speakers and amp. And to try and make things a little easier, we're gonna combine all those frequently asked questions into this video. So let's get started by talking about the Alpha One speakers. First question, Dylan, will the speakers fit all BMWs? They will fit most BMWs made after 2000, but you could always head on over to our website and enter your VIN to make sure that the speakers are gonna fit in your vehicle. There are a few exceptions here and there where certain BMWs have uniquely designed speakers where ours won't fit, but those are rare cases. So Chaz, is there any cutting or splicing required? Nope, all of our connectors plug directly into the existing BMW harnesses. Dylan, would you say the speakers are plug and play? Yes, they are 100% plug and play. Chaz, what sizes are the speakers? While the construction and materials of our speakers far surpass those of what BMW can offer, the size of their baskets remain the same as the factory speakers. We do this because one, the acoustic properties of the vehicles work well with all the sizes, and two, we want these to remain plug and play. The diameter of the mid-range speaker's cone is the same as OEM. When it comes to our woofers and tweeters, it depends as some OEM woofers or tweeters are absolutely tiny compared to the Alpha Ones. Speaking of which, what are the speakers made out of? Our tweeters and mids are made of aluminum cones while our subs are made with paper cones. Now each speaker is made with neodymium magnets, which are stronger and more powerful over your typical ferret magnets, which are the same ones you're gonna find on your refrigerator. Cone material and magnets don't exactly determine what a speaker sounds like though, that's through careful voicing design. Now, Jazz, do I need all the speakers? Now, if you want to take full advantage of our complete system, we recommend it, but you don't have to. For most BMWs, we offer three speaker kits. The first kit would be all the speakers encompassing the entire system inside of your car. If you just want to focus on the front of your vehicle, you know, you're just going to get the front speakers and the subs. If you want better lows, you'll just be getting the subs. Now, we definitely suggest getting them all, of course. And now with all of that out of the way, let's focus on the amp. So let's start off with, will the amp fit all BMWs? Well, like with the speakers, our amp will fit in most BMWs made after 2005, as long as you have the base stereo or 676 hi-fi. Things do get a little tricky if you have the higher end system like Harman Kardon, because there are two Harman Kardon systems for BMWs and minis. Now, the HK system under option code 674 is very similar to 676 Hi-Fi, and our Alpha One amp will work just fine in these. It does not work yet in the higher 688 HK systems and other premium systems like Top Hi-Fi or individual branded as Bang & Olufsen or Bowers & Wilkins, which require a minimum of nine amplifier output channels, which our current amp does not have. Now we are constantly extending compatibility, so your best bet is to enter your VIN on our site and it will let you know if our amp is compatible or not. And that was a lot. So Chaz, next question, does the amp require coding to work? In most cases, no. If you're upgrading from the base stereo system and your car, however, did not come with an amp from the factory, you will need the coding. But this doesn't apply with BMWs that are upgrading from the base stereo system that have BMWs iDrive 7. There is no coding need for that. Now, next question, does the amp work with BMWs with higher end audio systems? Well, the answer is unfortunately not yet. Well, the reason is twofold. On one hand, the amp doesn't have enough audio output channels. On the other hand, it doesn't have an optical audio input. So Chaz, in cars with iDrive 7 or MGU, why do you need to keep the old amplifier after installing the upgrades? Well, I think to answer this one, let's have our audio specialist at Beamer Tech, Mache, answer this one for us. We have him on a call right now. So Mache, you heard the question, go for it. Hi guys, on iDrive 6 and older generation vehicles, the analog audio signal would be generated by the head unit and then passed on to the amplifier in the trunk if you had, let's say, 676 Hi-Fi or 674 Harman Kardon. On top of that, the 676 and 674 amplifiers only function was to amplify audio signals for the speakers, so replacing it with a superior Alpha 1 amp was the way to go. With iDrive 7, the head unit no longer has analog audio outputs. Instead, the audio signal gets delivered to the receiver audio module, or RAM, via a digital signal which it then converts to analog output, meaning it has to stay installed. On top of that, the RAM has some connections for microphones as well as antennas. 
If you have a hybrid or electric BMW, it's also responsible for generating the acoustic pedestrian warning sounds. If you remove or disconnect the RAM, many features will stop working on your BMW. Thanks, Maciej. Now, Chaz, how does custom tuning work on the amp? So when you purchase the Alpha 1 amplifier from us, we'll have you fill out a questionnaire online that tells us what kind of music you listen to and how you like to listen to it. Now, based upon that and the BMW you drive, we'll be able to tune it to make it sound just the way you want it to with the acoustic properties of your BMW's interior. Now, can I tune it with the iDrive system alone? Well, with the iDrive system, you will get access to a basic equalizer, but you won't get the precise control as if you were to tune it through the amp's DSP itself. Now, Chaz, once you get that tune in there, can you change it? Yes, you can. Each amp comes with a USB cable that allows you to connect a Windows computer to access the DSP. If you're unhappy with the tune, our audio experts will be happy to provide you with a new one. You know, Chaz, I want to throw one more question at you in this section. Uh -oh. We get a lot of questions about ASD deactivation. Mm -hmm. So, what is it? So the ASD or the active sound design actually takes artificial engine noise and it pumps it through your car's speaker system. That way it lets you experience that sporty drive you're having. But if your upgraded audio is a little too intense or you really want that natural feel, deactivating the ASD will take care of that. We offer that coding service on our website or on certain iDrive models, you insert a harness into the ASD module that will bypass it entirely. If you want to learn more about it, head on over to our blog, link in the description. So the last one for this section, how do you install the amp? Well, that definitely depends on the BMW as some are easier than others. For example, the X3 and the X5. The X3 is definitely on the easier side, while the X5 does involve a little bit more of a touch and feel tactic. However, we do make everything plug and play, and where needed, we offer custom brackets so the amp bolts right to your BMW, giving you that factory feel. No one else on the market offers such an easy and seamless installation such as us. Now with all that done, let's talk about the system as a whole with both the speakers and amp together. So will I hear the difference with the Alpha 1 speakers without upgrading the amplifier? Absolutely, our speakers are going to give you a much cleaner signal and allow you to achieve much more headroom in your system. However, to get the full potential of our speakers, you're going to want to upgrade the amp as well. Which leads me to the next question, Chaz, should I get the speakers or the amp or both? So it really comes down to you and your needs. If you want to take full advantage of what Alpha One can offer, then both speakers and amps are definitely recommended. Now, if you don't usually crank up the volume, but you want a more fuller, more custom audio experience, then the amp is definitely for you. So if you want a little more headroom and a clearer listening experience, our speakers will be just right. But the thing is, your factory amp will not be able to drive the Alpha One speakers well enough. And if you get the Alpha One amp, it'll actually potentially overdrive your factory speakers if you turn up the volume too much. So that is why we actually recommend both. If you have a base stereo vehicle, we definitely recommend getting both the amp and speakers. When it comes to installing the system, however, do I do it myself or do I take it to an installer? Well, you do have a lot of panels and connectors to take off. Now we can provide you with all the tools you need with our Beamer Tech DIY Essentials Kit and Trim Toolkit, and we provide you with all the knowledge you need with a detailed PDF instruction set for your vehicle. And in most cases, an install video on your model BMW or similar one. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself, you can head on over to our website and find one of our certified installers near you. So speaking of installs, Chaz, how do I install this on a base stereo vehicle? So the installation process is a little bit more complicated since there are no existing tweeters and amplifier. Now our system is always plug and play, but there's a few more harnesses that you have to run. You also may have to source a few trim pieces on your own, especially if your BMW is lacking the grills for the tweeters. If you want to get an example of the installation itself, we actually put up a video on our channel upgrading an E70 that had the base system. See the link in our description. If you have a base stereo system in an iDrive 7 equipped BMW, the amp installation process is actually the same for a 676 Hi-Fi car. Now finally, let's talk about the Alpha 1 compared to other brands. Clearly, there are a lot of options out there to choose from, including higher end systems from the factory. Yeah, and you know what? Let's start with how does the Alpha 1 compare to the Harman Kardon? In short, better. You'll get clarity from your speakers, crisper highs, better sounding mids, and more punch from your lows. And if you have a BMW with HK option S674A, upgrading the amplifier alongside with the speakers will pump out even more power, optimize stereo imaging, smoother frequency response, and more customization possibilities than before. So Chaz, how does this compare to other speaker brands? 
Well, unlike our competitors, we don't like to trash talk our competition. All we can say is that we offer more plug and play kits for newer BMWs that others don't. And the big difference is in the sound and service that you get from BeamerTech. Our speakers and amps are for a wide variety of BMWs, including the latest model years with fully bolt-on brackets and harnesses. And our amps come pre-tuned for either OEM or Alpha One speakers. Is it really worth the upgrade? We don't hide the fact that our Alpha One system is gonna cost you some money. However, do you know the old saying, you get what you pay for? Well, it's true. We stand behind our superior sound and service to you. Alpha One isn't just a speaker system, it's a listening experience. So whether you're upgrading from Harman Kardon, B&O, or any of the other brands, we know you'll be pleased. So there you have it, all the FAQs on Alpha One speakers and amp. And let us know down in the comments section below what is the next FAQ video you want us to do next. And as always, for more product reviews, tips and tricks, FAQ videos, and so much more, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring that bell. And make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching, everybody.